the past few years, electric scooters have become much more prevalent as a transportation mode. At Alien Rides, you already know that we are fans of high-performance scooters, but even we need a way to conveniently get around. So today, we're going to step back and look at where you can get into this hobby with our favorite scooter company, Vissette. Now, if you don't know Vissette, they're behind the popular 10 Plus we reviewed last year, which could easily pass 40 miles per hour and had a starting price under $2,000. In the past couple years, they've been focused on the performance market, but in 2023, they're bringing their consistency and quality to a new market. In a world of low quality parts, inconsistent build quality, and subpar specs, the Vissette Mini is a breath of fresh air in the commuter market, hitting all the marks of an excellent entry-level scooter. Range, portability, and low maintenance? Let's see how the Vissette Mini achieves this without breaking the bank. Subscribe and let's ride. Many entry-level scooters struggle to meet the low expectation of working for a couple hundred miles without failure. Flats and electronic faults are the most common failure points on any scooter. And Vissette knows this very well and built the Mini with these problems in mind. It only has two areas of visible cabling and they're tightly wrapped in protective sheathing. And on the top, the thumb throttle is low profile, so it is less likely to be knocked in a crash. And the screen is uniquely embedded into the handlebar. And having this recess allows the scooter to fold down lower than other models and keeps the display safe from scratches and impacts in case it is dropped. Plus, we think it gives it a more stylish look. Okay, so they know how to protect their electrical components, but what about flats and tire changes? Well, they've got you covered there too. The Mini sports a pair of 8.5 inch solid tires. Solid tires are generally less cushioned and grippy than tube tires, and while this is true, the difference in traction is only noticeable at high speeds or riding in adverse conditions like rain or snow. As for cushioning and ride feel, the Mini continues the tradition of Vissette scooters and has a dual suspension system to compensate for the stiff feel of the tires. Combined with these solid tires hollow design, it makes the ride more comfortable than many of its competitors. But the most important aspect is solid tires never go flat and wear down incredibly slowly, so you won't have to replace them for thousands of miles. If Vissette stopped there, the Mini would have been a decent entry-level scooter with some good components, but they added even more accessories that pushed it even farther. They designed LED underlighting into the deck so it would be more visible at night. And speaking of lights, they included a front light for night riding and even a brake light for safety when other riders or pedestrians are around you. But Vissette wanted the best entry-level scooter, so they kept going, and they developed a quick-swap battery system. On top of the internal 7.8 amp-hour battery, when you buy a Vissette Mini with the external battery, you get this. 5 amp hour box that clicks right in. With the extra battery, you'll get another 3 to 5 miles of range. With the external battery, the Mini is the perfect excuse to get out and explore. Pop on the extra battery and go ride. Since the battery is plug and play, you can easily choose between weight and range. Above every other criteria, a beginner scooter must be accessible. Anyone should be able to control it safely. And of course, the Mini excels in this area as well. It has only four controls, a thumb throttle, two buttons, and a brake. The thumb throttle is intuitive to use and very responsive. The buttons turn the scooter on, cycle power modes, and turns on the front headlight. The screen clearly shows only the things you need to know while riding. And the 350 watt motor is perfect beginner power, enough to get around and be fun, but not so much that you're losing control. And plus, with the three riding modes, you can easily get comfortable with each level before going to full power. Now, being based in San Francisco, we care a lot about how scooters fare against the hills. So we had to take the Mini to our favorite testing spot.
Now it only comes with a single 350 watt motor, so some hills are simply going to beat it. But the thing is, the Mini only weighs 34 pounds with the external battery and 30 without. So hopping onto a bus or a train to get around steep parts is easy. And once you get where you're going, it's easy to carry up the stairs, tuck under the seat, or a desk. And measuring only 41 inches long, you can practically park it anywhere. In a closet, under a bed, or even in your car trunk. With electric scooters being the future of personal transit, everyone's trying to find the best one for them. Some go fast, others take you far, and some practically need a garage. Everyone's got to start their PEV journey somewhere, so Vasette took their shot at making the best entry-level scooter. And they got pretty close. It's got the range, it's got the features, it's light and small enough to take it anywhere. And plus with that optional battery, you can choose between weight and range. All of these advantages make the Mini our favorite entry-level scooter. <laughs> yeah. Wait. I don't think it's that one. It has to be. It has to be one of them. 